Well, hey, Tony, nice to talk to you over Skype. And uh, why don't you just tell us your name and a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Tony Gualtieri, and I've been working with students for about 10 years now. Seven of those have been in full-time ministry, and I currently serve at Faith Baptist Church in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Cool. So why don't you tell me a little bit about you know your youth ministry experience and how long you've been coming back there to share and kind of why you keep coming back there to share. Uh, my youth ministry experience is uh, somewhat unique. Um, I was uh, thrown into the, the middle of warfare with my first ministry opportunity, kind of got my training on the fly. Um, one of the very first things that uh, I had exposure to was Greg Steer and Dare to Share. And um, that was six years ago, went to my first conference in Columbus, Ohio, and really not only made an impact on me and my ministry, but on my students as well. And we've been returning ever since every year. Gotcha. So what makes you what makes you come back, though? I've always believed that the best way to unite students with God is to unite students with students. And Greg and his team um, with Dare to Share do a very good job of putting the gospel in a real tangible um, manner so that students can then take that effectively onto their schools, onto their campuses, and share their faith with their, with their friends, with their peers. Uh, and it's all about advancing the kingdom, and he really does a very good job of equipping students to do so. Gotcha. So any, uh, any cool stories of life change from when you came to Dare to Share with your students before? Uh, I think the biggest um, comes from last year. Um, unfortunately, I had the um, I had the task of burying uh, a student of ours, sixteen years old, passed away of uh, natural natural causes. But uh, when he started going to Dare to Share when he was in seventh grade, and I shared a when he passed away, I shared a letter with uh, Dare to Share, mm. and probably the coolest story ever was. It was two years ago, Columbus, Ohio. There was like a blizzard the day that the conference was supposed to happen. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Churches all around us were canceling and not going to go to the conference. And we're standing in the parking lot of the church, which was about an hour from Columbus, Ohio at the time. And all the youth leaders are like, well, I don't think we should go this and that. And this young man, um, purple lips, purple fingertips because of his illness, standing in below zero weather said, you know what? Jesus didn't stop walking for us and we're not going to stop for him. And, um, Jeez. he made us go. He, wow. he was like the driving force that day. That's cool. So we, we braved the elements. He was walking around a school praying for students. He never knew in eight inches of snow. Um, and it was just, it, it blessed my heart. And last year, um, dare to share honored Christopher Caldwell and his family mm. on the floor by using his story to, uh, again, one, one student's life, to reach thousands of teenagers. Wow, that's a neat story. Um, and he, he obviously passed away last year. So what uh, what have you seen transpire in your students like as a whole since Dare to Share or like because of Dare to Share and maybe because of Christopher? Well, I think um, this group of students that we took on the tour last year with us, a lot of them were, were green. They're, they were new to their faith. They knew Christopher. He had uh, he, a lot of them. He invited the youth group himself. Um, I mean, he was a warrior. The, wow. the kid was was unstoppable, and he he really did buy into the cause. Um, and so, when they when they got to the conference, not sure what to expect, and when they saw his story up there, and they listened to Greg and Zane and, and propaganda and how they presented the gospel, they realized that there was more to this Jesus guy mm -hmm. than just a story in the Bible. And we saw lives transform in that instance. And I mean, already driving back from the conference last year. I mean, hey, when are we going back? Can we sign up now? Let, let's go. <laughs> wow. uh, they were they were just on fire, and and we're truly we're seeing it lived out in their lives daily. Hmm. So, what are you like, talk about that a little bit? Like, how how have they gone back into uh, to their schools and their relationships and actually made a difference? And how is it, it was kind of because of the training with Dare to Share? Uh, absolutely, the the gospel was presented to them in such a clear manner that they were able to grab hold of it, embrace it, and apply it to their lives quicker than anything I was doing to reach them. And, and that's what I was hoping for. It's not about me. Uh, and so if, if we can have guys like Greg and his team um, love on our students and witness to them, then amen. That's what we need to happen. Right, cool. We'll, we'll take it from there and disciple them. Nice. But when we got back, what we saw was better decision-making. We saw a, a new passion uh, for life. We saw concern for lost friends. 
um, the, the witness, not only in their words, but in their actions as they were walking through the hallways at school, getting involved in clubs such as FCA uh, and really becoming a presence uh, in their in their communities and in their schools to where they're sharing their faith with administration also. Wow. Uh, it just it, it blessed us. And so there's a uh, there's a change. While I'm no longer in Marion, Ohio, I'm in Fort Wayne now. Right. I know that because of training at Dare to Share and the students that were impacted by it, the Holy Spirit is often well in the school districts in Marion, Ohio. Nice. That's great. That's that's uh, that's exactly why I wanted to talk to you. What is there anything that you would say to a youth leader who uh, might be on the fence that might be wanting to go to a different event or maybe cost is an issue? Um, what would you say to them about why you would think Dare to Share is the way to go? Uh, I, here's why. Uh, it's pretty easy. There's there's all kinds of events you can go to to pad your calendar. Um, but if you want to make a difference in the life of a student, then it, it's a small price to invest in a weekend. Uh, the conference is relatively inexpensive compared to other events that are out there. Um, there. There's many locations that you can choose from, but here's the difference. It's not a concert. It's not entertainment. Um, while there are times of worship there, that's just what they are, their worship. Dare to Share is a training conference. It's hands-on, in your face. This is the gospel. This is Jesus. This is how you need to share them. This is why you need to share them. Your students aren't going to walk away with a weekend where they were just entertained for 72 hours. They're walking away with a new passion to be a champion for Christ. And we don't have the time nor the resources necessarily as youth pastors to do what Greg and his team do. Let's not try and reinvent the wheel. Let's invest in a man who's passionate for the kids that we love, who's passionate for the God of, of all. And, and let's just take our students and, and invest in their future future. That's what it is. It, it's not entertainment. We're not social directors. We're training champions for Christ. And that's wow. what it's about. Wow. That's cool. Thanks, man. Well, it's great to just hear your heart and hear your passion for students. I mean, it's just clear from, from what you're saying that you just love students and want the best for the kingdom and want the best for them and training and longevity and being able to take their faith and uh, be an impact lifelong in, uh, in how they can share their faith. So I'm glad that Dare to Share has been a service to you guys, and uh, please just let us know whatever we can do to help serve you. I mean, we have a lot of resources besides just the conferences, so um, feel free. I mean, give us a call or, uh, or email or talk to your MA and just let us know whatever we can do to, to serve you as we move forward. So just thanks a lot for your time, and, uh, and we'll talk to you later. All right, no problem. You'll be blessed.